every artist I work with is different. That's what requires a different state of mind or a different approach. I changed my sort of stage persona with this band. I call him Mr. Mystic. He's like a sort of a voodoo prince of Africa, like with this big top hat with a gnarly Maasai necklace and like, you know all these rings and bangles and earrings. When I was playing with Paloma, we were just a four or five piece back then. But as time went on and you know the records came out and we started touring bigger and bigger, I definitely need things that are built to last. On the guitars I use is called Duesenberg. This guitar was made for me. It was a week old when I picked it up about five years ago. I've never had to mess with any settings in five years of touring because it was that good. I write songs in different ways. It doesn't really have a set pattern. Well, the inspiration or the idea comes from wherever I could be sat on a tube and have an idea and like sing it into my phone while I'm walking home. The initial inspiration is one thing, but then you go in and craft the rest of it. That's a whole other process, which I really love because you get to go into the nitty gritty of everything and like, oh, okay, that bass sounds not right. Let's like maybe add some more fuzz on that. The development of a tune is where you sort of really get to the craft of it. I'm an actor, so I love morphing into different roles. I'm a serial collaborator, so I keep changing for every role I get given, you know. 